I'm Jasmine Bertels and I advise people on getting out of debt. It's our number one problem. Bankruptcies have doubled in the last two years and for every pound we earn, we spend £1.10. And it starts young. Everyone loves to get value for money, whatever they're spending it on. So our consumer and financial guru Jasmine will be weeding out who got the best deal. Yes, I'll be visiting each of our spenders with today's guest expert. And one of them will go through to our grand final where there's a big cash prize for the overall series winner. I'm here in Norfolk to meet Jackie, who's a single mum with two teenage children. Like many, she's struggling to make ends meet. So I'm going to have a look at her financial situation and see if I can find some ways to bring in that much needed extra cash. The first step has to be a re-budget. You need to work out how you're going to make cutbacks and where your priorities are now. For example, you need to concentrate first on the bills that are attached to the roof over your head. So payments on your mortgage or rent and the utility bills like gas and electricity have to come first. If you put your thermostat down by just one degree, you can save a tenth of your fuel bills. And for you, that's over 100 quid, so it's worth doing. The thing with the dishwasher is, if you can fill it up totally before you actually wash it, then that uses less fuel, less water, and of course, less washing powder. Same with the washing machine. I mean, for Jane, I mean, what, she, what can she do with her body to make money? Well, um, for example, if you have time during the day, and it depends how old your children are, one thing you can do is be an extra, be a film extra or a TV extra. It depends where you live. If, if you're in, in a city, quite Is there much town, demand for extras? Well, there has been. I mean, right at the moment, I think it's probably tougher because, as you know, you know, the TV and film industry is tougher. My system might sound mad, but it really does work. And the reason is, imagine if you're the kind of person who doesn't really notice where the money is going. The one thing guaranteed to make you watch every penny is if I take your money off you and give it to your kids. And it begins with the least experienced, Jacob. What do you want to buy this week? Pizza. Pizzas, okay. So when you grow up, are you going to get married? No. Why not? Mm. Because I think it's boring. Why don't you want to get married? Because we don't want to get kissed, do we? Nah. Maybe even though if you don't get married, you still kiss each other. Most of the people I've helped get out of debt have got into trouble because they've innocently assumed that banks and credit companies were there to look after their financial interests. Duh! We've taken personal finance expert Jasmine Bertels along to help find a way through. You could find your way blocked by hidden charges. Of course, there are things like arrangement fees for mortgages, but if you're in a fixed rate deal and you need to come out early, you'll get a penalty and have all the interest that you would have paid slapped on. I think this, this is the problem that a lot of consumers have. The, the banks at the moment, the, the top five banks, are right at the top of the FTSE 100. They're making phenomenal amounts of money. Uh, just in the first six months of, of this year, the top five banks made £20 billion. Pounds. It's basically a budget. You see how much is coming in, how much is going out, and, and it's, it can be a bit scary because once you add those two columns up you could find that actually you're you're in a minus which is, was your situation of course no one should run up debts they can't afford to pay back but the lenders are guilty of pestering us to live beyond our means I think it's high time that we restored the traditional virtue of saving before we spend <laughs> 